Mr. President, somewhat hysterical, uh, because that's an issue I have been talking about for many, many years. And I am very delighted that my conservative Republican friends now recognize that we do have socialism for the rich. To paraphrase Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., who said that we live in a society where we have socialism for the rich and rugged individualism for the poor. King was right. But despite what my Republican colleagues are saying, truth is that according to the Tax Policy Center, the top 5% of Americans, the wealthiest people in our country, would receive less than 1% of the benefits of these direct payments. Less than 1%. Doesn't sound to me like too much socialism for the rich. But while we are on the subject of socialism for the rich, which my Republican friends have suddenly become very concerned about, let me talk about <coughs> the Trump tax proposal that was pushed very hard by the <coughs> Republican leadership, and where I think every Republican voted for it. You want to talk about socialism for the rich? It is not the bill that puts $2,000 into working class hands all over this country. That ain't socialism for the rich. This is socialism for the rich in that bill. Amazon, oh by the way, I must say this if I may, we were quoting the liberal Washington Post owned by Jeff Bezos, the wealthiest guy in the world. So here is Jeff Bezos' company, Amazon, and they received a tax rebate. They paid nothing in 2018 in federal taxes. That's a corrupt tax system to begin with. But then on top of that, they received $129 million as a tax rebate. That, Senator Thune, is what socialism for the rich. In fact, this particular company is owned by the richest guy in the world. You gave him a $129 million rebate. But it's not just Amazon. Delta Airlines also paid nothing in federal taxes in 2018, and yet they received a $187 million rebate from that particular bill. Chevron, helping to destroy our planet with their carbon emissions, $181 million in a rebate. That, my friends, is what socialism for the rich is about. Socialism for the rich is not, in the midst of this terrible pandemic, putting a $2,000 check into the hands of working families. President, the truth of the matter is that as a result of this pandemic, we are living through the worst and most difficult economic period since the Great Depression. Tens of millions of families are facing eviction all over this country in the wealthiest nation on earth. Moms are struggling to feed their kids, keep the electricity on, and be able to go to the doctor. Now, I hear from our Republican friends that the economy is doing better, but I would like to just read to them a few of the stories that I have received in my office. I got, we ask people, simple question, how are you doing out there? What's going on in your life? And we receive many, many thousands of responses from people in every state in this country. Just a few, just to bring some dose of reality here to the United States Senate, which often, in the midst of all the campaign contributions coming in here from the rich, does not know what's going on in the real world. Here's the real world. Gentleman in Texas wrote, $2,000 is the difference between keeping our apartment and being evicted. Mother in Virginia wrote, $2,000 means I can afford to feed my three kids. Now, maybe we should give her a long lecture on macroeconomics and how well the stock market is doing, 
All she's worried about is feeding her three children. A woman in Wisconsin wrote, $2,000 would mean not having to choose between rent and groceries and not having to ration my partner's meds. A woman in Nevada wrote, 